Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a gorgeous Tuesday morning right now. I'm gonna be trying out today for the very first time the Four Reasons Color Mask Toning Treatment and I'm very excited. Now, to be totally honest, I had never heard about this company until like two weeks ago. And here I am about to change the color of my hair with their products, but I have a feeling it's gonna turn out great because I've seen really good reviews. But I haven't seen a lot of videos here on YouTube talking about their products, showing application. So when they reached out to me wanting to sponsor this video and have me try out their products, I was all about it. I've tried out other hair coloring products on here and I love sharing that kind of content. I think it's so fun. So I had never heard of Four Reasons before this, but they are based in Finland and they've been around for like 20 years. So they're called Four Reasons because on their website it says they really value people, passion, authenticity, and you, the customer, which I think is really sweet. And they carry a huge range of products. They carry like all different kinds of hair care as well as the color mask, which I'm gonna be trying out today. They also have 23 shades. So they have a lot of natural shades like the one I'm trying out today. They also have some fun colorful shades like pinks and violets and stuff like that if you want to get creative. So just a little bit of background as some of you know my hair as it is right now is 100% its natural color. I have used other coloring products on this channel before but it's been like six months since I've touched my hair with any temporary color so I can 100% tell you that it is its natural color right now and I'll move into the sunlight so you can see my hair is technically red but it has always had a little bit of an auburn tone. So I've never had that like bright carroty orange that some redheads have. And I love that shade of red so much. So in the past, like I mentioned, I filmed other videos trying out products that will give me that carroty red shade and it's worked out well. So that's why I wasn't scared to try this product when they wanted to send it over to me because I feel fairly well versed in the world of temporarily coloring my hair. So they did send me this box of quite a few different shades of their color mask. This one in the shade copper is the one I'm gonna be trying out for you guys today. They also sent red copper, which would be fun to try out another time. They also sent over red, which I feel like would be fun to try. They also sent over some colors and I might have to try out in another video for you guys because like I just said, my hair has never not been a shade of red. So with that said, Four Reasons also sent me over their toning treatment in the shade Toffee, which is kind of a neutral brown shade. And then they also sent over their toning treatment in the shade Chocolate. I've never had brown hair, but maybe I will with this. <laughs> so I feel like using this would be quite an adventure. I don't know how I would feel not having red hair, but we're gonna find out eventually because I will use this in a future video. And then lastly, they sent over this comb, which I'll be using for application. So their product is $28. It's available on the Four Reasons website. It's also available online at Ulta. They did also tell me that I could mix the colors together, but I felt like for today's purposes, for me trying it out the very first time, I wanted to just try one shade the shade copper because I wanna see how this looks on my hair. And I also feel like you guys, the customer, if you're purchasing this, you're probably just gonna buy one. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you're just applying the one shade onto your hair. So some important details to go over before we get started. It's important to note that this is not a hair dye. All it does is just like deposit color on top of your hair. It does not permeate your like hair follicles in the way that actual hair dye does. According to their website, it is gonna wash away within like three to 20 washes. Let me read you this from the website. I have plagiarized this information. I copy and pasted it into my notes for today. We're gonna read it off of my laptop right now. <laughs> so their color mask treatments are pigmented deep conditioners. Like I was pretty much just saying, not a hair dye. It just has pigment that it deposits on top of your hair. Now their color masks are specifically formulated for color treated hair. So, you know, my hair obviously is not color treated, but it still kind of needs those same things that it's saying that it will give your color treated hair which would be a color refresh. So we're trying to amp up my red color and deep conditioning. I have very dry hair. So anything that's conditioning is gonna work great for me. Their color masks don't contain harsh chemicals like ammonia. Essentially, it just deep conditions and repairs the hair while depositing color pigments to the hair's surface. Like their color masks are intended to tone the hair or maintain your existing hair color. So you can use it in place of regular shampoo or conditioner. They have shampoos that are colored as well, wherever your hair needs to be refreshed. So it's that simple. I also read that Four Reasons is the best-selling professional salon brand in Finland and that also the color mask is the best-selling professional toning treatment in Finland. So I think now that we have a thorough understanding of what this product is, I'm gonna quickly go over the instructions before we get started. 
So basically on the website, it says that you're gonna apply it to evenly washed towel dried hair. Then you're gonna comb through and leave it in for 10 to 25 minutes, depending on your desired intensity. Now it says in the package five to 10 minutes, but I'm gonna be honest, I want it to be as vibrant as possible. So I'll probably ended up leaving it on closer to 25 minutes. And then just finishing up the process, you're supposed to wash out the product by rinsing your hair thoroughly when you're in the shower. So basically what I'm gonna do, my hair is pretty clean right now. I did wash it last night. Per the instructions though, I do wanna just hop in the shower and gently wash my hair before I apply this product. That way it's as clean as possible. So with that said, I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then I will pop back over here once I'm ready to apply the color mask treatment. Alrighty, I have showered and my hair is towel dry and I didn't put any conditioner on it just cause I want it to be able to absorb as much of the color mask as possible. I'm just gonna comb through it really quickly and then section it off and start applying the color. Now, basically, I'm just gonna go in with my hands. I don't have any gloves. So if it stains, that's a risk I'm willing to take because I don't, I don't care to go find gloves. <laughs> so with that said, I'm gonna get started. Like I mentioned, I do have two clips here that are somewhat close to the color of my hair. That way, hopefully they don't get stained. And I did just put this black t-shirt on so that my neck and shoulder area is covered and it's already black and orange. So it'll be fine if it gets a little stained. You won't be able to tell. I also just laid a little towel down and there's a chair I'm sitting on here, but fingers crossed this product isn't too like watery. So I don't think that it will sling anywhere in my room. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and just start applying the product to my hair. Also, if you guys see me looking this way at all, it's just because I do have a mirror over here. So I'll be using that as well as my phone camera to track what I'm doing. And I don't know, try to apply it as evenly as possible, even though I'm not in my bathroom. Now I could do my whole Vaseline thing like I usually would do, um, like around my head and neck area, but I don't think I care that much today. I think that I, I'm just gonna choose to believe that it's not gonna stain me and we'll see if I'm proven wrong. This is what it looks like when you get it out of the container. It's a very, very dark orange shade. Ooh, I've already gotten it on my legs <gasps> and on my wall. I'm gonna be a little bit more gentle with this, um, with this application. I just bought curtains yesterday that I'm sitting in front of. So like, I'd love to not stain those. Um, gonna have to be a little bit more gentle with the way that I'm like, flinging my hair around as I work it through. Applying this to wet hair is like a pretty different experience than what I'm used to because whenever I've used overtone, I always apply it to dry hair. So this is interesting and different. Just taking like, I don't know, quarter sized amounts. Also just trying to get it in the back of my head here. When you're coloring your hair, I feel like it's so easy to miss those back areas. We're just kind of working that into my scalp a little bit, make sure it's covered. I do like the fact that it doesn't seem to be like drying down in any real way. Um, so it's much easier to keep working with it and working it through your hair. Trying to go in and make sure it's really well distributed in the thickest areas of my hair. So like at the scalp and then through the midsection here. I see why they would have you do this. This is a really nice comb. It really like separates the hair out well as you go. I am meeting a girl for coffee later that I've never met in my life. <laughs> and I really might have orange hands for our coffee. I'm gonna take some color and kind of evenly disperse it over the top root area of my hair here. God, I hope this looks even when I'm done with it because I can't tell and I'm trying to be so gentle. That way I don't sling it anywhere. This side is pretty well coated. Alrighty, and I'm just going to take this and put it up in its clip. This might be really messy, but I am getting like the back of my neck right here because I have a lot of baby hairs there. 
I can't figure out what, but I feel like this product smells like something I've used before as a child. Like it reminds me of some shampoo. I'm just like really trying to coat this underneath area of my hair well, because I feel like when I've colored my hair in the past, that's just a section that's really easy to miss. As I section off my hair, I can feel that it's parted into this little like V shape. So I'll try to like get back there and really just smush the hair color into that area so that it's coated as well as possible. This is not taking me very long, you guys. I've been filming for like 10 minutes and sometimes it'll take me like 30 minutes when I'm really going hard um, and my hair is dry. So it just kind of is a little more complicated. Okay, I did not section that off well. I'm gonna just divide that up and go in in a little bit more of a precise way. And I'm not taking a whole lot each time. Literally me yesterday buying cream curtains, cream velvet curtains that I hung up. And I'm like, oh, let me sit in front of them and dye my hair orange. I'm just asking to ruin my home decor. I was gonna make sure I get the widow's peak. I'm gonna just take a little bit more of my hands, even though I think I evenly coated everything pretty well. I think that this combing method really probably helps it get in there as evenly as possible. If my scalp is a little orange, that's okay. I just wanna make sure that it's like really nice and coated. I'm not gonna show you, cause I don't have pants on right now, but my legs <laughs> have quite a bit of orange dye on them from this kind of just like coming off of my hair. Do this in the bathroom, you guys. That's what we've learned here. Do it in the bathroom. Lay towels down and do it, do it in the bathroom. Okay. I feel pretty good about how coated my hair is right now. So I am going to just twist this side up. We're gonna let it sit for about 25 minutes. And then I'll just show you guys what it looks like before I hop in the shower. So yeah, I'm gonna go start my timer and then we'll see what it looks like in a little bit. Alrighty, it's been about 25, maybe more minutes at this point. Um, it doesn't feel too crunchy. It hasn't really dried a whole lot, which is kind of nice. My hands are definitely gonna be stained, but I feel like it'll probably go away in the next day or so. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out of my hair and then show you guys what it's looking like wet. And after that, I'll style it and show you the finished product. Okay guys, so I hopped out of the shower a few minutes ago and my hair has been towel dried off. Now, we won't really be able to tell what the color looks like until it's dry. I'm gonna go and put my makeup on and blow dry my hair once it's a little bit drier and style it for you guys. I'm also really excited to report that I don't think my part was stained. So yeah, I'm gonna go get ready really quickly and then show you guys what it looks like once it is dry and styled. All right, you guys, I have done my makeup clearly and I have styled my hair and I am so, so pleased with the results. I cannot say that enough. I'm gonna show you it in this lighting as well as other lighting because my lighting in this bedroom has changed a little bit since I was filming the first parts of this video and you can't quite see how much more vibrant it is. Now it's not insanely more vibrant than my hair color was before, but looking at it in the mirror, you can definitely tell that it is brighter than it was. I do feel like I got it a little bit uneven in some parts. I don't know if you can tell. It's just not super vibrant underneath here. Then the front piece to me look like they got a little bit more orangey than the back pieces. Because it's not an incredibly vibrant orange, it's not super noticeable on my red hair that I didn't totally cover every bit. Um, it was so easy to apply this on my damp hair. I do feel like that's the best way to apply it. I feel like it really nourished my hair so that when I did blow dry it the way it is today, it doesn't look as frizzy as it usually would, even with using other products. I also feel like the product is very approachable because while it did tint my hair and make it more vibrant, it's not an insane difference. So if you do mess up on a spot or two, it's not gonna be super noticeable. So I feel like it could be really good for beginners who are wanting to add some vibrance to their hair. Honestly, based on my first experience here, because it was so easy, it looks so nice, it's so moisturized now, I can definitely say that I recommend this to anyone who's wanting to try out the Four Reasons Color Mask Toning Treatment. I really like the shade Copper and I'm very excited to try some of the other shades that they sent over, hopefully in future videos if you guys are interested. Before we wrap up, I do have my ring light right here, which I had sat in my window before. I feel like you can really see my hair for the color that it is right now when I hold this closer. It's so much more vibrant and orange than it was before and with this ring light, you can definitely tell. Again, it's a pretty natural looking orange. It's not incredibly vibrant, but it's definitely enough for me to be able to tell that there is a difference and it's been colored. I love the way it looks. 
But yeah, I feel like that just about concludes this video. I love the way this product worked. It was so easy. My hair looks so good and I'm definitely gonna keep trying out the other shades that they sent me over. If you would like to see me try out one in particular, please leave me a comment below and I will try to film that video. The one in particular that I'm really interested to try is gonna be chocolate because your girl has always had red hair. Of course, like I've said, I won't be permanently dyeing it any color, but I'm very open to the idea of using their coloring mask to try out colors that I've never tried before. For. If you guys would like to keep up with me on social media, please feel free to do so. MUA.Lydia on Instagram. And then my TikTok is Lydia Grace, G R A Y C E, like the color. Please do like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see the other stuff that I come out with. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed my little try on and review of the Four Reasons Color Mask Toning Treatment in the shade Copper. That being said, that pretty much wraps everything up, and I will catch you guys on the next one.